Hello, Aria Trader followers. Today, we are here with an indicator that analysis cannot give up. This indicator, called the Bollinger Band, has been widely used since its discovery. In this part of series of training videos, we examined what the Bollinger Band is, how it is used, and what its details are. Let's take a closer look at the Bollinger Bands, which are among the most frequently used indicator by investors. Bollinger Bands were developed by John Bollinger in the 1980s. American-born Mr. Bollinger is an author of numerous articles and books on technical analysis. Mr. Bollinger, who owned a computer in 1977, was also among the pioneers of computer-aided technical analysis. There is also an approach called rational analysis that Mr. Bollinger developed to bridge the gap between technical analysis and fundamental analysis. This approach also developed his multiple perspectives in technical analysis. Now, if you come to the Bollinger Bands, they are bands that measure volatility, that is, volatility in prices, by definition. Investors also use it extensively to identify reversal points in prices. It is also one of the most useful tools for volatility-based analysis. If we examine the exit point of Bollinger Bands, it is that the prices of the investment asset remain within a certain standard deviation range according to the normal distribution. This standard deviation is calculated to show the percentage distribution of certain statistics. However, you do not need to use the account's details. In the intermediary platform applications use, this calculation will take place in the graphic ready. If you come to the value lines of the Bellinger bands, the price of the investment asset in general is in the band range with a rate of 85% and 90%. If it is outside of these two standard deviation lines, there may be overflow of 90% as lower and upper. However, in rising or falling trends, this overflow can reach 18 or 19% levels. Narrowing and widening of bands. The narrowing and widening of Bellinger bands are shaped by the standard deviation. If the average of the deviation of the asset value is low, the bands will narrow, and if it's large, they will widen. Tape narrowing. 1. The closing value close to the average in the prices of the traded asset reduces the standard deviation. 2. The lower and upper bands narrow with decreasing standard deviation. 3. Contraction may indicate that there will be a movement in prices, but the direction is not clear. 4. After the band narrows, trend movements begin. Band Expansion 1. Increase the standard deviation of the closing value close to the average in the prices of the traded assets. 2. The lower and upper bands widen with increasing standard deviation. 3. Enlargement indicates that the movement in prices will end. 4. After band widening, trend movements end. Attention! It should be noted that the price lines being close to these bands is not an accurate method to determine the direction. In addition, it is not possible to detect the buy-sell signals over these bands. Analysis should be done with an at least one indicator component. Rules of Bollinger Bands I have simplified and itemized the rules that Mr. Bollinger frequently repeats and which should be carefully considered for you. Here are those rules. 1. Bands show us high and low price values. 2. By comparing the price movements with the use of additional indicators, buy-sell decision can be made. 3. Using Bollinger alone is not possible for a comprehensive analysis. 4. Price band team should not be considered as buy-sell signal. 5. In an uptrend, prices may continue this movement by exceeding the upper band, or in a downtrend, prices may exceed the lower band and continue this movement for a while. 6. Closures outside the band do not indicate a reversal. 7. The moving average value used in the band is 20 bars. 
However, it can be used by changing this value in different markets and instruments. Bollinger Bands plus Indicators Since Bollinger Bands cannot produce buy-sell signals on their own, they should be used by utilizing various indicators. Mr. Bollinger also emphasized that bands work more harmoniously and successfully with volume and momentum indicators. In addition, Mr. Bollinger has listed the auxiliary indicators that can be used in his book where he explains the bands as follow. 1. Intraday Intensity Index 2. Accumulation Distribution 3. Money Flow Index 4. Volume Weighted MICD 5. On Balance Volume 6. Volume Price Trends 7. Negative and Positive Volume Indices As a result, indicators are the most important tool when trading in investment markets. However, these tools must be used and interpreted correctly. When using more than one indicator, it is extremely important to determine the most accurate strategy to protect your investments. It is also possible to approach the most accurate results by scanning these indicators thousands of times per second with artificial intelligence technology, which we here can leave here. That's why Aeroforex robots have been developed for this purpose. You can easily access how artificial intelligence threats buy sell signals before market dynamics and contributes to growing your investments. All you have to do is visit ariatrader.com website and benefit from the power of artificial intelligence in your transactions.